what are we doing here? Beautiful beach over here. You know, people in videos point to things. So, uh, truck over here. Great break actually back here for surfing friends. Beautiful. We saw a turtle out here. Manta ray was exactly here. And then I saw a sea bass of some sort over here that I was not able to spear. We're watching our friends try and reverse up onto the beach in their two-wheel drive van. Get it, get it. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Stop, stop. three nights here so we stayed quite a bit longer than we thought we would but it was a cool spot in the day there's some surfers that show up so it's fun to watch them the water is really nice beach is nice quiet um, but we're moving on today so you can see goose in the background and then our new friends Dane and Sarah they have a van and uh, they pulled it up onto the beach so we have the max shacks under there this morning to hopefully just get them out easy because it's only a two-wheel drive van um, so should be fun to watch and then not exactly sure where we're going to end up tonight but we'll see We're leaving the beach. We hadn't been to the beach in like a month and a half? Yeah, it's been a long time. A long time, it seemed like. And uh, we just spent five nights at the beach, two different spots, met up with some new friends that we'd been chatting with on Instagram. So that was fun. And now we're heading to get some groceries and up into the mountains where we might see some other friends. Second Iowa Overlander spot of the trip. The beach was, mm -hmm. the surf beach was on there. Um, and then this is just, we, our buddies locked themselves out of their truck. Mm -hmm. they, had they had bad a luck today. Day, man. Like Which, we knew this morning getting off the beach they were gonna have troubles. Two wheel drive van with commercial tires, you know, real skinny, full tire pressure. We probably could air it down and gotten out, but um, maybe not. It was so heavy. And so we used Max Tracks. We used them like five times in a row just to kind of. Get them off the beach. Yeah. Then we went shopping to resupply, and then they locked themselves out of the van. And I'm just so hoping they didn't have a mechanical issue because. Yeah. And then um, they uh, spent all the cash that they had oh, yeah. for the locksmith to do that. So then yeah. once we hit toll roads, they yep. didn't have any cash left. So luckily we had enough cash to get, um, us, both to get us both through. So it's no big deal, but it was like just the adding up of them all, right? Yeah, like I feel bad for them. For They've got to be exhausted. Yeah. Um, and so we're just hoping like. I'm sure they'll show up in a second, but I hope up, they didn't yeah. have a mechanical. And there's no service, so I can't do anything. They don't have a ham radio. But Those we saw them not too, too long ago, or heard from them not too long ago. So. I mean, 
Dane and Sarah never did turn up that night. We found out the next day they had decided to keep on driving to make it to a waterfall further down the road. On their way there, they ended up being stopped by an angry group of men and had to make a choice to floor it out of a bad situation. Glad they are okay. As all the locals will warn you, never a good idea to drive at night in Mexico. So we were settling into camp for the night, hoping we would be seeing a white van pull in at any moment, when instead, a little SUV with a rooftop tent pulled up. This couple was doing a similar trip to ours, and we stayed up late chatting about our trip, the highs and lows of living on the road, and just life in general. What an unexpected surprise. I could not have imagined a better way to end a long day. The next morning, we all enjoyed breakfast together before heading our separate ways. This is one of the coolest things about a trip like this. These oh, random yeah, chance the meetings, one, the strangers yeah. that you feel an instant connection with. People who see the world like you do. So we did not turn the camera on for a bit this morning because it got wet last night. Uh, Whoops. So we've been just letting it dry out um, and we met really really cool couple that are doing a very similar trip but they are from Paraguay yeah so anyways it was really cool to talk to them um, it's so funny to see how similar uh, feelings and cultures are even in a totally different country um, yeah. so it was really neat to meet them and uh, I think we made some new friends which is cool <laughs> We spent a few days in San Cristobal catching up on editing videos and wandering the city, exploring their vast street markets where you could buy pretty much anything your heart desired. We also decided it would be prudent to purchase some rubber boots for the upcoming jungle of Guatemala. <laughs> Mine were uh, eight dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. They're pretty you good. went with the fancy ones that look identical. We <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't tell any difference from them at all. Yeah, but apparently they were uh, twelve pesos more. So, yeah. You know, fifty-five cents or something more. Yeah. Fifty-one big, cents. I'm a big spender. Yeah. 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 Excited. <laughs> Except for my haircut. Yep. Yep. We have a fancy, fancy fireplace, so we decided we should have a fire. It's a tin fire. <laughs> We want, we want this to feel just like the sun. <laughs> it does feel really nice. Oh, it feels so good. We haven't had a fire since Baja, I yeah. don't think. Yeah, because I don't think in so the jungle, so everything's wet. wet. There's no point in trying. Uh, other places, we're kind of stealthy. We don't want to be seen. But, yeah, this is our first fire. We're leaving our Airbnb and planning to cross the border. We're leaving Mexico. Yeah. And we'll see, you know, if you factor in like Mexican roads and road road issues and do you whatever. Know where I'm going? Uh no. But I do know there's a one way street, so I'm going down.
officially checked out of Mexico and heading to the Guatemalan border to get our car sprayed and passport stamped and vehicle imported and yeah. then we're officially in Guatemala where we've never been before. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting because even though everywhere we went in Mexico was somewhat new, I mean, except for bits of Baja, but even then we went to places yeah. that I've always wanted to go that we hadn't been. And now we're going to the first new country though. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm just excited to see the differences, the people, yeah. the cars, because I love the cars, the trucks. Um, yeah, so we gotta get our butts out of Mexico. We're not allowed to be here anymore. We're allowed to be nowhere right now. Yeah, that's kind of a scarier feeling. Right? We're so not in any country at the moment. Hopefully we get into Guatemala successfully. Well, we're technically still in Mexico, but yes. we, we're not legal, so we have to leave. Now here's it's a, a giant washout. washout. He's in 1A, not to drive at night. Anyway, he's got a bug. Guatemala but it's uh, it's rad like it's so funny it's immediately different and there's this excitement level that you can't describe very I can't describe it very well of being in a new country you've never been to yeah. I've been to Mexico throughout my entire life from when I was like eight on but most of the places we went to I'd never been so it was mostly new, but there's just something about a country that we get to have to. new kinds of beers that we've never had, gallo. new kinds of food. I'm excited to have gallo. I don't know what it is or if it sucks, but uh, yeah. And then Toyotas, man, you cross the border, Toyotas rule the world. I don't know if I've seen another brand yet. I saw besides Tuk Tuks. Yeah, little Tuk Tuks, and then the semis, Freightliners, still huge down here for semis. But everything is a Toyota pickup, Toyota pickup, Toyota Forerunner. We got Toyota Corolla behind us, Toyota Highlander. Mazda, Mazda pickup truck, there we go. And followed by oh, a bunch of Toyotas Hyundai. and a Hyundai. But, but it's yeah. amazing, it's just loaded. All those trucks you see heading south, that you're like, ah, they're going to Mexico. I think a lot of those little pickup trucks end up here or further south, we'll see. Yeah, the border crossing was really easy. Yeah, we, we got did it. Done. Now we just gotta find a place to camp. Yes, so now uh, we got a couple hour drive, I think, ahead of us, we'll see. Depends on, on how busy and populated it is. One of our friends who's in Guatemala said, you know, pretty much everything is private land. Even the national parks, they consider their private land, like the park, you know, considers like they own it. So, um, we'll see. Mexico is technically like that too a lot, but we always found a spot. Yep. to camp for tonight and we were just camped in someone's yard basically it's a little store and they have um, grass area where they let you camp and there's some little bathrooms and it's uh, didn't catch so I think that's how you say that person uh, so that's pretty cheap and so yeah we're gonna stay here tonight and then in the morning we're gonna meet up with someone we met online who is going to show us some off-road trails so that'll be fun tomorrow um, but yeah, super cute here. Take a look. Join us next time as we explore more of Guatemala. Ready? One, two, three. Wow, I really look very hoboish. Hold on.
There you go. Still hobo. Hi. We're in the jungle. Pan around to see all the lights. Like you get so bossy. You show them the lights. <laughs> and there's Snoopy. There's Snoopy. Hey Snoop. Oh. Wait, what? I'm just goofing. New boot goofing. Oh. City, I'm gonna put this down because there are police. Yeah. Goodbye.